Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Criminal Minds. So, uh, I believe this will be the finale for the series because all we have to do is find, um, the Natalie. Yeah, we always have to, all we have to do is find Natalie Fox, uh, because I have a bad habit of having like seven minute finales. So, hopefully, we can round out this series in this episode. Even if we have to add on several minutes to the end than usual. Okay. So, we do have the code, and there are these symbols that are on this board. It says Mars, Sun, and Earth. There we go. Okay. What is in the locker? It's a hidden object scene. And you, sir, have a very messy locker. Okay, book, crayon, hammer, pipe. Um. It's like a rock screw. Um. Corkscrew. That's what it is. Uh, and envelope, harmonica, soda, calculator, gloves. Let's see, pen light, and. Not sure what that is. That last word is a sticky note. It is a sticky note. Natalie Fox was pretending to date Oscar Burns. They shared things. Maybe this is for her cell phone? Okay. See, so need an envelope. Book, corkscrew, and a soda. Okay, there's the corkscrew. Now we just need a book and a soda. There's a book. Medicine book. Now where is the soda? These are juice boxes here. Which is next to the soda? Okay. We have a cell phone password which is lies. Let's see who the last phone call on that phone was made to. Considering if she was paranoid, thinking everyone was after her, that would make sense. That would be her password. Okay, so we're going back to the cell phone. Okay. Oh, no, I gotta clear that. No way to delete. I was thinking like, if you guys remember older phones, how you had to um, press them multiple times to get the letter you want. So I was pressing it uh, twice, trying to get to the L, but apparently I have to press it once. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, this cell phone was like was upside down, so I just turned my head, and it's five three one seven. There we go. That's clever. Oscar's call log, the number, Natalie Fox, and then someone unknown. Wait, this isn't Fox's phone. This says Oscar's call log. But she was definitely the last person he called. Where is she now? Better run the phone info with Garcia. The phone. Okay. Back to the police station. There's Prentiss. I came to help out with Natalie's apartment. Any news? Actually, yes. Can you run the cell phone down to the station while I check something out? Okay, we are now playing as Emily Prentiss. Phone to Garcia. 
Looks like Natalie was in a condemned building near here at the time of the call. There's a condemned building in the alley where we found Burns' duffel bag. Thanks, Garcia. Okay. Mm where to? Find Natalie's cell phone in abandoned building. Okay. Means we are heading to where the homeless man was. And there he is! An object scene right there. Have you seen the waitress at the biker ball bar or a large cell phone around here? We tracked the phone signal to this area. I thought you were done bothering me. I haven't seen anyone. Try looking in the building. Okay. There it is. Okay, we have a hooked pole and small gears. Okay, so we need to find Natalie's cell phone in an abandoned building, and as well as find Natalie herself. Okay, said so that was too high up, we can use that to pull it down. Okay. This abandoned building looks like a good place to hide a bomb to me. Go! Alright, buddy, we're on your trail now. Okay, definitely someone was camped up here. Especially with the camera in the window. There it is. Okay, we have colored wires. Bingo. Someone was watching Burns' apartment through this window. Okay. This is the end of us. I did everything you wanted me to. I took his ID and went back for that spark plug thing. I set it all up perfectly to look like it was him. And for what? Now he's missing. What did you do to him? How could I have trusted you? Give me double the money and I'll keep quiet, you jerk. But I'm done doing your dirty work. Leave me tonight and give the money and then say goodbye forever. It looks like our fox was cheating on Burns with a bad, bad man. And he was giving her orders. This mysterious man might be our unsub. Maybe she'll tell us where he is. Okay. Large gears. Missing his gears. I'm gonna see what's behind the door. Okay. Not a handle. Okay. So, let's get to this door. What was that? Or that was just... Okay, that was just... A... That's supposed to look like a moth around the light, but that's actually the silhouette of a butterfly. <laughs> Missing gears. Okay. Gotta connect them. Make all the gears turn. Wait, seriously? <laughs> okay. It's too dark to investigate. Let's get some light in here. In there. Did I seriously just solve that puzzle with just... Okay. Okay, it looks like that's the end of that. That's the window. Hey, 
There we go. Okay. Right click or double click to rotate them, okay? Okay. There we go. Oh! Wow, this case has been grim. Oh god, poor girl. First the unsub sends us chasing after Burns and now Fox. What if our next lead is a trap too? Yonza will have plenty of time to finish the bomb before we figure it out. Wow. This is the empty box where the trick spark gap was kept. Where have I seen that color before? We have this nail polish. We found this nail polish at the crime scene. If this is Fox nail polish, she was in the device room at the time it went missing. She definitely stole the triggered spark gap. Okay. Car keys. This camera is pointed towards Burns' apartment. There are no pictures taken, but it's all the way zoomed in. Yonsa may have been using it as a cheap telescope to watch and make sure the plan was unfolding correctly. I need to find a doorknob for that. Two tasks. Well, we found Fox. I found the doorknob. Yep. It's locked. We have keys. What is in the trunk? Apparently a bunch of stuff. And sunglasses. Okay. Door handle. Yep, still there. This is evidence. We better get it to Garcia. Ramos coffee beans. Imported coffee. Garcia can look up local purchase records to see who buys this brand of rare imported coffee. Okay, here you go. Alright, let's see who bought this brand of coffee in the area lately. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Boy, do we have a profile to do. Okay. Alright guys, Errol Cash is the only person in Seattle who buys this brand of imported coffee. And guess who he is? The bartender at the local bar. Doubt if he's the only person in Seattle who buys it, but okay. Story reason, suspension of disbelief. Okay. Bartender at the local biker bar. That doesn't look too good. Why were the bartender's coffee and his dead waitress found in the same location? Well, they do work together. She would have access, have had access to the coffee. Maybe she brought it to the Commandant building on her own. Yes, but we also know that Natalie Fox's mysterious second boyfriend was the one telling her what to do. That mystery boyfriend could have been Errol. Possibly. Hold 
on guys, Errol Cash has done jail time, and his cellmate was none other than Edward Lee. Edward's brother was our original suspect, John the Militia Leader. What if Ed introduced his cellmate to his brother? There's no time to waste. We may have discovered who the unsub is, but now we have to find him. In summary, Errol Cash, the bartender at the biker bar, is the only person in Seattle who buys his brand of imported coffee. Errol Cash has done jail time. His cellmate was Edward Lee. Ed's brother is John, the militia leader. They're connected. Errol Cash is John Lee's boss, as well as Fox's boyfriend, and he killed Burns. Okay. Errol Cash profile. Hello? Oh, now it's empty. Yeah, I'd be concerned too. Local bartender Errol Cash was in jail with John Lee's brother. I also found Errol's coffee in the room where I found Natalie's body. And now he's missing. Errol might be preparing for detonation. Let's see what his last living partner in crime can do for us. I introduced Arrow to my brother when we were released from jail. Sure, they got pretty cozy, but I never knew they would do something like this. Well, now a lot of people could die. Try thinking more often, Edward. Okay. Talk to John about Arrow. Okay. Wait, what? He going. Just saw that. It says gotcha. Note. Give the bomb note to the police. Okay. Hello, sir. Arrow's gone, but he promises the show will end with a bang. Call for an evacuation of the city. We don't find him in time, we want to make sure everyone's safe. Copy that. Good luck, Agent. Okay, back to the station. Hello. Look, I'm just a middleman here. I didn't build a bomb. This is Cash's gig. Maybe his gig, but you can get us tickets. Set up a meeting now. Alright already. My phone is in my backpack. I need that to set up a meeting. Okay. Looks like we could finish out this episode. We'll be adding in more minutes, but it's worth it. So we don't end up having another four minute finale. Donna's phone and the cryptid. Okay. Search through his bag. All these goodies. There's a fuse. Okay. So we have the cell phone. To him. He sent an encrypted message back. It takes a while to decipher. Give me the phone. I know the woman just for this. Oh, Garcia. Okay. Sure thing, babe. Okay. Oh. Select the symbols and replace them with letters to decipher the coded message. The message begins with meet tonight. Okay. Oh, this is neat. Okay. Rendezvous rendezvous is a interesting word. Let's that let's ask John what the flash sequence is. What 
wonder where he finds Flash Sequence 3. That's the one he had Natalie using. She probably left it in her car. Okay, gotta go to her car. It's some in some weird twist I was thinking the homeless man had something to do with this. Did you find what you were looking for so you can be done with my alleyway? Where are the goggles? I just need the harmonica. There it is. Okay, we have mittens. Oh, it's open now. Looks like we need the other half of that sequence. Might be around here somewhere. Sequence 3, Game of Fools. Do you know where the other half of this paper is? We have to find it. People's lives are in danger. People never care about my problems. I see her freezing and they just walk on by. Go away. Here, warm yourself up. We're trying to help you too, man. We're trying to help everyone. Mittens. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's easy to think no one cares these days. Here's that paper you wanted. Thanks. Hey, there's a shelter not too far from here. Why don't you just spend the night there, or it's warm? Sequence 3 scrap. Okay. Sequence three is Game of Fools. So transmit the message Game of Fools in the proper coded sequence by selecting two buttons. Okay. Ah. Come back here. Okay. There's Errol. <laughs> Congratulations, you caught me. Took you long enough. Tell us where the bomb is. You'll never find it. We know everything, Errol. We know you killed Burns and Fox. We've captured you. There's nothing left. There's nowhere left to run. I believe you were the ones running all around town while I was having a laugh in my bar. Don't push me, Cash. Don't push me. Oh, look at us arguing. It's clear that you're tense. Could it be because you're about to die? There are more peaceful ways to get what you want, but you won't be able to do anything ever again if this thing explodes with you in the era area. You know what I think? I think you're scrambling because you always have your little criminal profiles, but you don't know anything about my mind, and I know everything about yours. We know you like to play games. Can I play one now? How about find the bomb? <laughs> good man, it's true. I can't resist a good taunting. I like you. I like all the team. So I'll send you one on one last wild goose chase. For old time's sake. You look around the city, 
and I'll tell you if you're hot or cold. That's my offer. You in? Okay... <laughs> Splendid! Ready, set, go! Summary, Errol seems to be enjoying all of this. The BAU always has a criminal profile, but this time Errol knows everything about our minds, and we know nothing about his. They actually believe that? Do know he likes to play games, so we'll challenge him to find one now. Challenge him one now, find the bomb. We have no choice but to cooperate with him. We we'll search the town, and he'll tell us if we're close or not. Seriously? <laughs> you run out of time, my little agents. Get going. Ah, a journey begins here. You're nowhere near it, agents. Tricky. You think I put it in the same place I took it from? Ma'am, you should evacuate the area. Why? What's happening? Please just do as I say. You're not listening, cold. What if you're lying? Have I ever lied to you? Well... We're gonna survive this. We have to learn to trust each other. Freezing! I'm not gonna miss you when you're locked up. I don't trust him either. As much as I would like to terrorize our Seattle police, I didn't put the bomb in their lobby. It seemed too easy. <laughs> This is getting pretty intense. I hope we're close. I'm getting bored. I should really at least be on my on the trail by now. I want to see what he says. Oh, hello, John. How's it going? I'm not so great. In fact, I'm wishing you were being detained somewhere near my bomb. I mean, I didn't mean to tell them, boss. They made me do it. Okay, so he skedaddled. What about here? Are we closer? You're not close, but there are further places. I see you found my Natalie. Poor girl. She was pretty. I would never trust her with my dear bomb, though. Okay, we only have a few more places. What about now? Closer? Not yet. Still far off. Edward! My longtime roomie! Too bad you'll soon be out of eyes. What? Be serious. Are we going in the right direction? Tut tut! I'm only allowed to tell you if you're close or not. It's not particularly close. Oh, well, there goes Edward. Ah, hallway. A place of decisions. One path could bring you closer to life than the others. Another could bring you closer to death. You're trying to spice up the game. Maybe you're bored because we're getting close. Oh, this is a fun room. This is where I got to throw that cocky Burns out the window. Hot or cold? <laughs> Our dead friend is closer than you are. And I know where it is. It's been a good game, but I have you checked, mate. Let me check in. Poor room, just in case. What about here? I wouldn't call this closer than where you were.
It's here, isn't it, Cash? I'm hot, aren't I? Sure, but you need to work up the smoldering. Give us a sad pout and strike a pose because this is where the commentary stops. You're on your own. Good luck! <laughs> No risk of being discarded or damaged from construction work. This might be the spot. Could be under here. It's a gamble, but it's what we got. Okay, so I need a tool to get that. There's a tape. Okay, wire cutters and a wrench. Oh, we have to do the bomb thing. Okay. Ooh. Select tiles to rotate them to complete the image. Rows and columns will lock into place when correct. Okay. Okay. Oh. The bomb! And with time to spare, but is it enough to disarm it? The exposed portion of the wire on the left and right side to remove them. Once the wires are gone, remove the spark device to on the bomb. Okay. Put that away. Okay. And also, if you guys are wondering why are we doing this as Derek Morgan, it's because he has bomb squad experience. The triggered spark gap. Take that, Cash! Yay! Man is the only kind of vermin who sets his own trap, baits it, then steps in it. John Steinbeck. Okay, yay! Okay, so that was Criminal Minds. Um, this game is uh, pretty new, so I'm not sure if they have other cases they're going to be releasing, but I'm hoping so because both the first case and the second case uh, were very enjoyable, and uh, this was uh, a lot. Of, this was a lot of fun to do. The hidden object scenes were not difficult. They made sense. I didn't just. It wasn't just clicking into a scene and it's just a bunch of junk like the the items that were there made sense in their placement um as far as like uh, of course you can't compare to the show but it definitely had the intrigue as well as the mystery uh enough twists and turns especially in the second case more so than the first one um um, for the case of the second case, they didn't really get a diagnosis, other than the guy was pretty much just a grade-A jerk. But, yeah, this uh, has been Criminal Minds, so hopefully I can get to do more of the Great Unknown, Houdini's Castle, House of a Thousand Doors. Um, I just started Along the Edge, I know that one's going to be more... Uh, detail and it's going to be much longer and hopefully I'll be able to add more to the weird park series I haven't been I haven't forgot about that <laughs> and uh, that's about it that's about it for now so uh, stay tuned there's much more coming from other series and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later bye